Sounds Like was part of a show called Sounds Human that premiered at the 2010 Bumbershoot Festival in Seattle, Washington. And I'm using the classic elements of earth, air, water, fire, and paralleling that with American history events. So you have these pairings of video and images that almost create a puzzle or riddle for each element. I love musical notation and I like taking it and moving it around and using it in ways it was not meant to be used. Like you can create a tree, you can insinuate that this is a human body by using notation. You can insinuate roadways by using the stave and really the score or musical notation is really a road map and that's how it's used in one of the pieces using accent marks for trees. In the lines, if you look closely, there's staves. There's 40 of them. There's 40 staves to represent 40 acres. And in the bottom left corner is a mule. I took video traveling through this tree farm, and it was just amazing because you could go for acres and acres without passing a single person, without passing a single house. And it was just kind of mesmerizing. And I thought, this is a lot of wealth. If you have property, you have the potential for having wealth. And if you have wealth, you have a voice. But without wealth, you don't have a voice. Water is probably the most personal piece for me because I didn't hear about Emmett Till until I was much older. Emmett Till was this young man who was visiting his family in Mississippi from Chicago. Allegedly, he was flirting with a white woman. He was tortured, beat, and... Then he was thrown into the river later with a 70-pound cotton gin that was wrapped around his body. The waves are made using ties. And if you look very, very closely, you'll see Emmett Till's name. I wanted to put myself in Emmett Till's place. It would actually have to be Emmett Till's spirit looking from the water because he was already deceased by the time he went into the river but I wanted to get perspective of how it would feel to be in this cold river for three days looking up uh, from Emmett Till's perspective. And I feel we need to talk about lynching, so I wanted to depict lynching in a different way. So in the top of the tree, I use a DS sign, and at the bottom of the tree, in the trunk, I use a CODA sign which just symbolizes the end. You go to the end of the piece, you go to the coda section. This took the image of this airplane flying. The parallel between the video and the imagery in Sounds Like Wind is in both positions of being lynched and being in an aircraft, you're powerless in both situations. You have no control. You're both suspended in the air. Fire is not really based on a significant African-American incident, it actually has a lot more to do with my heroes who took no prisoners in their mission, whether it be Miles Davis, Jack Johnson, John Coltrane. I mean, these people grew up during really difficult times. They didn't do it in a timid way. They didn't do it in a way where they were asking for permission to stand tall. They stood tall on their own. Forte in music usually means loud. So the lyrics or the words are meant to be said loud, not loud in a sense, volume loud, but loud in a proud way. Uh, the video next to the image is of me boxing. Boxers go into the ring thinking, I'm going to knock this guy out. It's going to be me or him, and he's going to go down. It's addressing the fire inside you, the fire that gets you up in the morning, the fire that makes you believe that you're going to come out on top. You're not going to be knocked down by societal ills. You're not going to be knocked down by the centuries of oppression 